is Browse AI actually that easy to extract and monitor data from the web? In this video, I'm going to give you my honest review about that. So Browse AI is claiming that they're an innovative AI software that helps you extract and monitor data from the web, super easy, reliable, and affordable. While back in the day, scraping information from the web costs you a lot of money, but also a lot of time. So if this software actually works like they say it does, then this could be a game changer for you. Now, if you want to use Browse AI yourself, click the link in the description down below and you get launched to their website. They will also offer you a 10% discount, which is the highest you can get at the moment. So after signing up and logging in into Browse AI, you will come to this uh, dashboard from them. I deleted all my pre-robots to show you from the start on how this works. And you can see that you have the robots and the subscription and the API. Now I'm going to talk a bit about the subscription base because as you can see, you can already start from $90 per month. Now this is depending on the credits that you're using. So as you can see, you can either choose 10, 24 or 48 K per year. And if you're doing a monthly uh, subscription, you pay more against the yearly one, but then you have either 2K, 4K or for these ones, 5K, 10K, 20. 10, 20, or 40K. Now keep in mind with your subscription, you have like 20% extra off. That, that's depending on what you need and how long you actually need this tool, of course. And keep in mind that if you click the link in my description, you also had the 10% extra off. But let me explain you what the differences are. So of course, the price are changing whenever you click more credits, that's logical. And with these ones for a professional in the team, you can either click for 60, 120 and 240 K credits per year. Now for this one, you can do 120, 240 and 480 K credits per year. Now, besides the price and the credits, what you need to know is these things. So we're talking about robots, the robots that you are setting up for extracting data from websites. Now with the starter, you can use 10 robots with the professional and with the team, you can use 30 robots. And this is the same in terms of the concurrent tasks. But what is important for you to know is the hour checks. So what does this say? Now, depending on how fast you actually want to get updated by the automations, because you're using robots, um, you need to choose your subscription. So keep in mind, this is the maximum. Same for these, same for these. You can also choose monthly, weekly, daily. Uh, and then you go to hourly, uh, 15 minutes or five minutes. That's just really depending on whatever you want. So if you're saying, I don't need less than an hourly check, then go for this one. If you're saying, yeah, I do need the 15 minutes or the five minutes, you need to choose either one of these. But other than that, the difference are the retention uh, and the users. Now I'll leave this up to you in terms of what you need. And I'll leave my opinion about this later on in the video as well. But let me give you a quick walkthrough on how the robots work so that you can at least see if my opinion is right about the review that I'm giving at the end of the video. So going into the robots, you can see that you can either extract structured data or monitor side changes. Now I'm going to show you quickly how this part works, but I'm not going to show you step by step. I've already done this in a different video, which you can see probably up here in the video and click on that. So after putting in the right details for this website, I can start recording the task. I get launched to this blog page and as you can see above here is the robot now I click on capture list because for this specific task i want to capture the list of all the blogs that they are posting and i want to get updated about that so i'm going to click on the robot and for this specific task i want to extract all the information in terms of which blog posts they have and which dates so as you can see what it does it extracts a list of items from this web page and turn it into a data table you can download as a spreadsheet or monitor for changes over time so i'm going to do that because that's exactly what i need capture list i'm going to capture the list put in the right settings and as you can see what it now does it completely gives me the the whole list in terms of all the blocks and here it gives the dates as well. Now, how this turns out depends a little bit on how the website is structured. For example, you can see that with the date and I also get the title. This isn't for every website. I'm going to show you a different example where you get exactly what you need um, separated. That's just depending on the website. But for now, I'm going to do 10. I don't need to have like all 100 or whatever uh, custom number I need. Then one more thing that's important, I'm going to click on the fact that it scrolls down to load more items. This is due to the fact that this website loads the new blocks when I just scroll down and don't need to click on a next page button. So after giving this a title, you can now see that I go into finish recording. 
And here's the result. As you can see, I now got this. I got the title, the position, and the date. And the only thing that I need to do to make sure that the automation actually runs, and that I get updated every week if I want to, or every day, I need to go to monitoring. So I'm going to create a new monitor. I will show you that I can't do it per minute or per hour. Uh, that's just not possible. Then I need to upgrade. But I'm going to show you by the fact that it can do it per day. And then these are all selected. I can choose a time. Let's say I'll do... And I get notified by email whenever this is happening. So every day I get an email that it is updated. Now, one more thing is important for you to actually know, and that it's a credit section, because as you can see here, it gives to me how much credit is, this is costing me to actually execute. So this is one credit per task, including uh, 10 list items plus 0.1 credit per additional list item. Now, above here, you can see that these are the credits that I have still left for the month. But in that case, you can now kind of like calculate, okay, this is as much as I need. And I can choose with the free or the pay plan, whatever I need for that. Now, what is good about this too, is that you don't just have to download it by a CSV file. You can also integrate it either with Google Sheets, Zapier, Webhooks, REST API, Workflows, Make.com, Public Connect, Airtable or Integrately. So whatever you're using for your project or your company, you can choose yourself whatever is needed in terms of automating it to a different platform, which will be uh, more easy for you to execute. And it's just great that they have this possibility to do. Now, since you've seen how extracting data works, I'm going to also show you how to monitor data. So we're going back to building a robot and we're going to click on this and putting in a website. Now for this particular task, I just want to get updated on what Adidas does with their running shoes collection. So I'm going to use a robot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select these list items since these are all the shoes, right? Now, this is very nice because as you can see, this is what is executing. So the title of the shoe, which you can see here, then you get the category men's running. I get the colors. Now, I could have uh, actually do this separately. So the best seller separately with the colors, which is great. You can then see if a new boot is coming in or that it's just a best seller or something that's already there for a long time. Then I can put in the link and what I can also do and what I did wrong by this time is the price. So I thought that I had selected the price, but I selected the uh, image. So no worries. Um, normally I can do this with the price right way. And then I can either choose to have a certain amount of lists. Of course, I'm going to do 10 for the sake of this video. And the only thing that I want to show you what I said earlier is the fact that this one, I need to actually navigate to a next page. So you can see that once I click on that, I need to find that button. So under here, you have the next page uh, button, which I need to select because otherwise a robot doesn't know how to get to the new list. So um, I'm going to do that. And now it's all set up. I only need to give it a title. So I could say Adidas shoe collection. And other than that, everything works the same. I can capture this list. I can monitor whenever I want to get updated with this, either daily, hourly, weekly, whatever. And it gives me the whole overview of what they did with their website and the changes they made in their collection, which is great. So for now, I'm not going to finish this recording. I don't need this for now, but it was a good example. So now you've seen how Browse AI is working, we can get into the review. Now keep in mind, if you actually like how this is all working, you can click the link in my description down below. You will get 10% extra discount, even if you start with a free trial and you later go into subscription, or you start with a paid subscription right now, you always get the 10% discount. So here's my review. In terms of positives, it is super easy to execute because if you knew how data scraping from the web works back in the day, you will actually know that this is way and way easier and way less time consuming. But not only that, it's also very easy for you to execute. While back in the day, if you wanted to scrape data from the web, it actually was very hard to do for someone with not having a lot of experience in that. Now, of course, prices always are a perspective and it depends on how big your project or your company is where you want to do this for. But in terms of price, it is still very, very affordable if you compare it to any other methods that you needed to be doing uh, back in the day. And it's a good thing that you can choose credit. So you will always just use whatever you need. Now, another good thing is that it's very doable for either big companies or small companies, which makes it fine for everyone to use. It's actually a game changer if you want to look at, for example, competitors or whatever information you need to get updated on from websites. Now, talking about down points, I don't have a lot, but I would say that 
It could be with the credits that you're paying for credits, which you will not use. But I think they do have a lot of options where you can choose from. So at the end of the day, you can probably find a balance. At the end of the day, you still need to put out manual steps and you need to take the time for that. You need to learn a little bit how the platform works, execute the manual steps. And yeah, that takes time. You need to do it yourself or one of your team members, which of course is logical that you need to put in time. But once again, at the end of the day, it is not a complete AI tool where you just click on a website and it just is done. So these are my only down points. I would say that I don't have a lot of negative points. It's actually a game changer in terms of scraping web data. So that is my honest review. Once again, if you want to get started, click the link in the description and thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.